Hi, welcome. Today's fly I'm going to tie is called the Divine Dancer. It was, um, it's not my fly, it's uh, actually designed by um, Matty Divine, well known North East Angler in the UK. Uh, Matty's fished this pattern for about 15 years now. Uh, large waters like Rutland and Grafham and all the small waters around the UK and it's been his most productive fly over the 15 years. He's noted for catching big trout and he's had approximately about 70 doubles mixture of rainbows and browns so it's tried and tested um, so we'll tie it up. Uh, he's kept it a secret for quite a few years but he said obviously now's the time to share it so we'll get them tied up. The hook I'm going to put in the vise is a size 8 and it's a Hanek 230BL and the bead is fluoro red and it's 3.8 brass. The thread is uh, UTC 70 in black. So we'll start off just behind the bead tied on. We'll go through the materials as we tie them on because there's, there's a few. So we'll just put a base down. Now the wing in this fly is a mixture of black and blue um, with a, a bit of um, crystal flash in. So the first one will take a black marabou and what we'll do we'll snip a bit section off like so and Dave Downey trick which he showed me when he did a show in our local area he pulls the two like away from the stem like that pulls them both together and then chops it off like so and then you take all the fluff out to reduce the bulk. So this is the the bottom part of the fly with the tail. Now the next bit is blue marabou. Same thing. I'll snip a bit off the stem. And so fold the two bits over to one side. Twist it. And Chop it off the stem. Again, take the fluffy bits away. And then just trim the ends. This goes above. Bottom bit of black marabou. And on top of this, he has fine crinkle flash and 
Gut, da muss ich da ein Fach. Eine gehen, because it works out with this four bits, so what we'll do. Take that around the stem. And then we can place it directly onto the top. Tie it in. We'll get another bit of the top part is another bit of the black. So again, cut another bit, bend it over. Out. This is on the top. Since you down. So you've got your black on the bottom, blue in the middle, and then the crystal flash, and then black again for your for your top. Now the the body of the fly is made up of um, UV micro straggle, ten millimetre. But before you put that on, you have a put this onto the body. So we'll, we'll tie this in now. Get the UV bag out. Just need a small portion. Tying in, just tie that along the shank. Keep that to one side. Get my blue tinsel. Tie that in. a bit and then we'll take my blue tinsel wrap it around this will just show up through the micro straggle when the sun shines on it. So we'll take the tinsel to the bead. Tie it off. And then what I like to do here is put a small bit of super glue along the tinsel just to give it a bit of strength a bit more durability in the body now we'll 
one light row straggle we'll just want about three three turns open turns so it actually shines through onto the blue the head bit the last bit of the head is using a guinea fowl as a as a hackle now what we can do if you've got small ones you can just tie them on um, direct but what I'm gonna do is make a double loop so I've just got some large ones I'm going to use so I'm going to use a large one and I'm going to use the fibers put them into uh, Mark Petitjean's tool get them all standing upright Make sure and then trim off the edges and the hackle and then get the clip because I'm only wanting the tips as such. Don't want the stem, so get the tips and there's the stem. And what I'm going to do now is use the large scissors and cut the stem on me. I'm going to transfer this you can just if you haven't got a picture on tool you can just use you can buy some plastic clips and then this is just a metal one I'm going to transfer it onto there so we've now got no stem and just handles so I've got a double loop here I'm going to open it up put the fibers in In it a bit and then I'll just as you can see I'll spin it and then the hackles will start to spin around make them nice and spiky basically come around the fly and then what I'm going to do is brush them back as I'm going around and just give it a nice spiky colour and that blue stands out so I'll bring my thread over, tie it off, tie the dubbin loop off. Rip it off. Tidy it up. Thank you. 
the varnish on the thread. So, there you have it, Matty's Divine Dantha. Um, you can see he's caught thousands of fish on this pattern, it's his go-to pattern. So, it gives good movement in the water with the, the tail and the, and the hackle. Um, not, not too much in your face, catches lots of fish. So, if you like it, tie it up. Um, check out my other flies on my YouTube channel. Enjoy subscribe as well thank you bye